Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with the Kingdom of Romania. Alright, so let's go and get started in today's episode. Uh, so, still, uh, as you guys can see from the air, we control everywhere but the home islands for the most part that we're fighting in. So, we're doing pretty good. It's just the home islands. We just cannot get control of there, guys. Having a lot of difficulty. Uh, let's go and attack over this way. Should be able to get a win there. Uh, bring more divisions over here as well. And, uh,. Yeah, I think things are, once we get all those planes moved around, we'll take a look and see how things have adjusted there. We have just entered into November now. Alright, so that's awesome. Let's so attack over this way. Uh, although, I'd prefer them to go there first, so let's attack them over there. Let's go and see if we can't get some winds all across this territory here. Alright, uh, so, yeah, just trying to get this, uh, these guys all cut off here, uh, which we're going to have to uh, push forward this way that we did lose here, so that's quite unfortunate. Uh, I wanted to, uh, let's go and attack over that. Yeah, that's a real bummer. Uh, I wanted to have these guys cut off here. Alright, hmm. Let's see how we can do this then. Uh, let's have these guys go here, or at least to attack over this way. Try and get some winds across this territory here. And, uh, I just really need to shorten this, the front a little bit. Just a bit, anyway. Uh, let's go and attack and try and get over to here. Uh, such a bummer we lost right there, man. Uh, so, once we get that wrapped up, then free up some divisions and move over this way. Uh, and, and it's irrelevant now uh, that they they did take that. Uh, I just wanted to make sure we were able to destroy those divisions, which we were. Alright, so we'll attack over this way. They'll retreat over to this province, and that'll allow us to uh, uh, then destroy them. Okay. Um, seeing where else we could do some attacks here. Attack those guys. That should be an easy win there. All right, so the, the fronts are getting pretty stretched out uh, at the moment. So that's something to consider. But let's go ahead and, and have these guys cover all this, and then we're going to probably pull these back once we get those those divisions over here. All right, so we went in there. Uh, they did reconnect that there, but again, this is irrelevant. Okay, so we need to get those guys cut off. Uh, winning, we won there, uh, so that'll help. Uh, with that, and we did cut off those divisions and destroyed them. Uh, so now let's go ahead and start pushing forward. We don't want to lose any territory, so let's go and attack up that way. Uh, if we get that capital there, then maybe these guys might actually capitulate. Uh, we did actually win there as well. All right, fantastic news. Uh, I just don't have the division numbers over here, frankly. Uh, I think the majority of them are coming over to here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to pull back with this guy. Uh, just let that one dude go there. Alright, looks great. And then we'll be able to push forward again once we get all the divisions up to the front. Alright, so I'm going to move these guys here. We can get them destroyed. Alright, so we did win here as well. Let's go and push forward right there. Maybe we'll try and cut all these guys off by attacking right here. And then we'll just support that attack. And once he gets there, it'll cut off another five Japanese divisions. So we'll push forward there. Uh, we'll see what we can do over here as well. Um, so that's just about wrapped up. Just kind of waiting on that to, to complete. And uh, looks like we're about to win there as well. All right, let's go ahead and go here now. Or actually, we'll go right there. Just kind of slowly push forward again. We're trying to cut them off, but having some difficulty. I'm doing that. Let's see how we gotta get up here, and if we do it from both directions, then maybe we can get it done a little bit quicker. Alright, uh, so a lot of divisions over here. Uh, let's hurry up and get this wrapped up. These guys destroyed now. So that they can move back up to the front. Uh, these divisions are now uh, cut off as well, so let's go and start working on getting them destroyed. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and push forward across here. These guys will attack right there. Okay, great. Looking fantastic. -go. Alright, so it's going to go here. And once that is wrapped up, and it is now wrapped up, let's go and have... Alright, they're already going to that front. Let's have these guys come on over to here. Alright, so I did free up all these divisions. I don't even know what I'm accepting at this point. <laughs> We're just accepting it. Alright, these guys have lost. Uh, we might need to do... Well, never mind. We have an opening right there. All right, we'll take advantage of that, though we will have to attack here to lock those divisions down so they can't leave. All right, and this is across a river, so let's attack here instead. And still just waiting for divisions to get over to this area here. Okay. A lot of movement happening. 
around there. All right, so we should be able to get a win right there. Let's go and attack him then, and then we'll attack here as well. Let's try and start pushing forward to get towards that capital. Maybe we can get them to uh, capitulate. Okay, uh, we also had some battles here. Five more convoys sunk, and I believe those were uh, that was a troop. Those were troop convoys sunk another story there. They're losing tons of planes in the air, of course. Uh, you know, and there's nothing really to be done about that. So they have a larger air force than us right now, I think. Or at least they can put enough planes in the sky. Uh, we could go ahead and move some, some planes over to here. Uh, but I would like to start moving away from this area. So we'll just move the planes that are over here and uh, get them moving into here. Because, yeah, they're getting kind of far away from, from the area here. All right. So it looks like we just about wrapped those guys up. Uh, we did get across there. Uh, these guys can now go ahead and start pushing forward across here. This is looking uh, pretty good. All right, and we have uh, three armies across this front here. Uh, again, I'm gonna pull those back eventually. And just having some difficulty, man. Uh, what we need to do is attack right there. And what, uh, what we'll do is, as I know this is gonna be a loss, as we will then use the nuke. Since we have two of them, or had two anyway. So we'll use the nuke there. And then let's go ahead and push forward here as well. Uh, we did win there. Er, yeah, so we're about to cut these guys off here. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack them now. Just to lock them down temporarily. Alright, and let me just see if anything's changed along this front. Doesn't look like it. Uh, oh yes, we can actually start moving this way. Let's go and have them attack since they move a little bit faster in the mountains. And then we'll just take one of these guys and have them attack to lock them down. I don't know if we'll actually win. It's okay though. Okay, uh, so we've wrapped up this here, so now all these divisions need to get their butts on over to here. Uh, let's try and get the win there, I suppose. We'll just go ahead and kind of move all the divisions over this way. Have these guys go over here and push forward there. It's getting kind of wild and un unwieldy right now. It's okay. All right, and we're moving super slow because we are manually controlling all these divisions. Ah, nothing, nothing different here. <laughs> This is pretty typical. It's been the whole campaign moving pretty slow like that. Uh, but it does, I just, I like playing this way, guys. This is my desire way of playing. Uh, this is open, so might as well move here. I, I don't think they can defend this anymore, so might as well start attacking even if, Again, these are forts and river penalties and stuff. Uh, they're not able to defend it any longer. They've started to move elsewhere. Those guys grab that for us. Just start pushing forward here. Uh, the Germans want to send us stuff. We're gonna tell them no. We don't want them to uh, get any more points towards freeing themselves. Let's go and have these guys support this attack again. Just trying to lock them down so we can get these guys cut off because uh, we are just about there uh, very soon here. All right, we're going to attack them that way. These guys are now cut off. Uh, we try and attack, though. We don't have a lot of divisions over here to do so. Uh, these guys will attack that way then. And let's support with these guys as well. Just keep them from moving. All right, so we're all winning across here. Uh, let's go ahead and start taking more territory. And these guys could move here. I think we actually already have somebody moving there, though. Let's attack that way now. And yeah, we should be able to win all along that front now. All right, so let's go and push forward here and try and get all of these divisions cut off along here. Uh, let's go and attack over that way and attack over here. And let's take a look at the situation over here. Uh, looks like we actually did win there. Okay, wasn't expecting to win there. I was just trying to lock those divisions down. Uh, we could probably start attacking along here now. And we're gonna try and get to the, the capital. We already have that guy going that way, okay. Uh, so we should be able to move towards it very, very soon. Uh, let's see what happened over here. We lost six planes. Okay, two destroyers sunk, another one. Man, I wanted to see how many ships they have left. We've sunk so many destroyers. Uh, let's just take a look. Uh, they currently have a lot. We'll just say a lot. Oh, uh, well over 400 still. I uh, remember they had like 500 something though, so that's, that's something. Uh, we have made progress there. Do we have control of this? We do not. All right, because we're gonna want to build an airbase there so we can put more planes into the sky. 
Uh, we do have more room here. Uh, so what we're going to want to undo is just take planes that are over here uh, because they've stacked so many planes here. Uh, the Russians have. Uh, so we just want to go ahead and pull all of our planes from there because they're just not getting any efficiency in, at the moment. So we'll have to move them here, which means we'll not be able to get more planes into into Japan. It's really quite unfortunate. Uh, but we can keep moving planes from over here. So let's go and do that. Uh, there's also air bases that have opened up here as well. Uh, so we can go ahead and move uh, some of the planes that are here and start fighting in this area. All right, so trying to defend across here. Let's just tank them there just so they can get that done. And it does look like it's actually gonna be a win. All right, uh, these guys are winning as well. And these troops here are now cut off, so let's go and work on getting them destroyed. We got the advanced ship torpedo launchers. Again, we don't actually need those uh, for the subs like I thought we did. Uh, so we didn't need to get that, but can't put them on destroyers and stuff. I don't even know if we'll be able to get any uh, ships. Um, I was just going for like passive bonuses, but this is really the only passive bonus that helps submarines at this point. Uh, and I don't think there's, oh, we can get this one. That would help submarines. Um, yeah, let's do that. That'd help anybody. Cause yeah, I don't, I just don't think the Navy's gonna be important for us in this campaign at all. Uh, we won't get any of them built before Japan is uh, defeated, I thought. Uh, I didn't know how well we were gonna do on, on destroying the Japanese fleet. So I thought maybe we might end up needing them. But doesn't look like that's going to be the case. All right, so now we want to attack here, but we are not going to win if we attack there. All right, well, let's attack that way instead. Uh, just pushing the front out further that way. That's not exactly how I wanted to see this happen. Uh, let's go and attack over here now. And let's go and move towards their capital. And uh, somebody will get there eventually. And let's go ahead and have uh, the troops here. Uh, we're still trying to cut these guys off. Interesting that we haven't got them done yet. All right, still just trying to get over there. Uh, and then these guys push forward here. We did not defeat those dudes. Um, they're about to reconnect it here. Let's move these guys here then instead. All right, um, let's go and attack there. And it looks like there's a little bit of an opening here. Let's go and fix that. Uh, but yeah, we can go ahead and push forward all across this. There's nobody here to stop us. So yeah, we'll push forward across all this territory. See if there's anything. Yeah, we can probably win right there. Okay. Looking good. About to get those ones wiped out. He has continued to, to be able to push forward, but yeah, we just haven't been able to uh, do anything with that because we haven't been able to cut these guys off just yet. And this will be a ton of divisions once we get a win. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack over there, and then these guys here will be cut off from supply. Uh, we did win there as well, uh, so let's go ahead and have... I, I think we're going to start attacking because I believe we should have them cut off soon uh, in mere moments. So let's go ahead and start attacking now. And uh, see how this ends up going. All right, let's go and dip back over to this front. I hate that we have this front over here, uh, but it is necessary. Let's go ahead and have these guys support. I don't know where these divisions are going. Just stay there, man. Uh, we did win there as well. Let's go push forward here now. And take a look if we ever did finish this up. Not yet. Um, he's still, it just takes so long to, to get anywhere. And then he has to keep defeating divisions as well. Uh, but yeah, this will be a lot of divisions that we cut off here. Uh, these guys got reconnected because they did win there. All right. Not surprising. Uh, we did win across here, uh, and let's go and continue pushing forward across the front. And I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, we're gonna leave those guys, that's fine. All right, uh, so the yellow army is a bit stretched out at this point. It's causing us some problems. Uh, this guy gets there in 10 hours. Uh, these are overrun now, so they can get all of our, to their front. Uh, got him going to the capital. We do have a division. Oh, I thought he was cut off. Uh, we're about to actually connect this here. So all these divisions here uh, will be cut off once we take the capital here. Uh, so very, very nice. Uh, we are about to lose there, so that's problematic. Uh, let's go ahead and have the divisions that are here stay here. Get over here along this front. Help us out, man, because we are about to uh, to lose, man. About to lose right there. I don't know if there's going to be any way for me to, like, stop that. Hmm. Could always just nuke him. <laughs> That'll stop him. 
Uh, let me just see here. Maybe we want to go ahead and nuke these guys instead. Get the win there, and then we'll be able to attack across there. I don't know. They might be able to reconnect this. All right. Um, let's go and attack right there and here. And these tanks just move so quick, I can't keep up with them. <laughs> they are really, really fast. All right, so these guys are now all cut off. Uh, finally, it took us long enough uh, to get them all cut off, but we did. We did it. Um, yeah, that did take quite a while uh, to get that uh, finished up. Uh, but yeah, that should allow us to destroy quite a few divisions. Okay, beautiful. I'm just trying to get that uh, finished up. And let's go and continue attacking over this way. Just kind of pushing forward all across the front. Can he go? No, he can't go that way. All right, and it does look like that is now a win, surprisingly. Okay. All right, so let's now attack. And there we go. We actually won that. <laughs> we almost nuked our own troops. <laughs> Technically, uh, they would have radiation. A lot of people have asked about that because I'm kind of using tukes, nukes as a, a tactical weapon here. Uh, nuclear weapons do not have radiation in Hoi 4, guys. There's there's no radiation, so it does allow you to, to use them in that, that fashion. Uh, and let's see if there's... They're pushing us back on some areas here. Uh, still trying to get these guys here wiped out. I'm attack right there, just trying to help out on that defense. Uh, let's have these guys stay here. I don't know what everybody's doing here, man. Whole front's kind of getting a little bit messed up. All right. Um, and do we have any air bases open up? You're kind of building them, but they're, they're building slow. And the damn, damn Russians. Oh, that's a Spanish they're messing us up there. All right, well, the damn Spanish. And yes, they are called the Spanish Empire, guys, because they are not aligned. Oh, so that's the Spanish Empire, our puppet. Not much of an empire, of course. They don't really have much, but eh, whatever they want to call themselves. I'm not here to judge. All right, let's go ahead and do some attacks across here. Again, it's a loss, but that's okay. We're just trying to get troops up along this line real quick and wrapping that up, too. Uh, we're going to attack those guys, too. And, okay, they're going that way. Just want to make sure at all times we have troops attacking. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what happened here, but that's super weird, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, kind of strange. Um, well, let's go ahead and keep on pushing forward. Okay, I'm going to attack right there as well. Uh, these troops have been cut off. Let's go ahead and get them destroyed. Uh, let's have these guys attack here. And these guys push forward across this territory here. These guys will attack right there. And let's push forward across this territory. It looks like their front got messed up. Okay, so what we want to do is give them... Oh, Lord. What happened here? <laughs> it looks like it's going to be messed up no matter what I do. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but whatever. Did get all kind of uh, messed up. Unfortunately, they did delete some of these uh, fronts from us. All right, so we're just really trying to push forward here because all these divisions are cut off. Uh, so yeah, we just need to get these wins. Um, well, no, these ones are not cut off now because uh, yeah, we did end up losing here. Damn it! So these ones are not cut off, uh, but these guys all are. Uh, but they're very close to reconnecting here, so this is a problem. Also very close to getting the capital. Uh, so let's go and push forward across here. It's it's definitely an unruly front at the moment. It's just kind of all over the place. Uh, so let's have these guys all attack across here. And these guys are going to come over to here. And they're still trying to wrap that up. we got a ton of divisions that are going over to there right now. And uh, these guys are now cut off from supply. Let's go ahead and have them support this so we can finally get that division there wrapped up. And just uh, fronts all over the place, guys. It is uh, quite ugly indeed. Uh, let's have anybody who's not already set to take the railroads just tack over here and get this done, please. All right. Like we did win there as well. I don't even want to mess with the fronts. They're so uh, messed up. I don't feel like messing with them right now. All right, so these guys are moving that way. Let's go and attack over here now. Try and get these divisions here wiped out. And let's push forward there. Uh, a lot of these guys are lacking equipment. So that's good to see. Let's go and uh, dip on over to here, see how things are looking. Uh, it does look like they have pulled back from these fronts a bit. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, shit, looks like we lost there. All right, let's attack over here then. 
we're gonna bring in divisions from here over to there, and then have these guys attack this way. Try and cut off any troops that are here. I'll try and attack right there too. No, that won't work. All right, we did. Uh, we should win there though. And I'm not entirely. Yeah, Afghanistan is not into the war. I don't think so. Yeah, they're not into the conflict right now. So this would result in us being to cut these guys off. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll attack with one division here. Support with the other one. Okay. Yeah, we'll just dip over there occasionally and see what's what's going on on that front. Uh, and we have sunk another Japanese destroyer here. I uh, probably still don't have control of the skies over the home island. No. <laughs> no matter what we do, we just can't get get control of the skies there. Uh, here is now, I think, irrelevant now that we have one here. So what we're going to want to go ahead and do is take any troops that are set to the Russian Far East and go ahead and start moving them. Well, again, we just don't have any room here. Yeah, there's no... No airbase space. All right. Yeah, there's not really much we can do. Okay, so yeah, still trying to get these guys wrapped up. Let's go ahead and have them support them attack. And have them support too. Probably not going to win there, but it's okay. Uh, they're going over that way. They're going over that way. Uh, and still trying to get this huge, massive pocket wrapped up here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start attacking everywhere, even across rivers and stuff, just so we can get this done, man. Because we've got to decrease the size of this pocket, man. It is massive. Alright, so they're attacking over that way. These guys are going over here. I uh, still got this little tiny pocket here. Uh, looks like we have pretty good success getting this ramped up here. I think they're going to have just one province here soon, which is right there. So what we'll do is have these guys go and attack straight over there. Alright, lovely. One there as well. And these guys need to ramp up that last division. I'll free up quite a few divisions. Six divisions I see that were currently assigned to that front. Let's go ahead and have these guys take one of them, whoever gets there first. Again, just trying to reduce the size of these massive pockets. And uh, is there anywhere else we can attack? We can attack right there. Just make it sure at all times our divisions are attacking. Let's attack over that way. All right. Um, unfortunately, yeah, this these guys were uh, liberated. So that's kind of a shame. Nothing to be done about it though. All right, so let's go and see if anything's happened over here. Changed up a little bit different, whatever. Let's go and go there. There's nobody there. We can now connect this whole front, and that'll make it a little bit easier to manage it. Uh, let's go after the capital now. It looks like we were able to get here. Uh, so that's awesome. And yeah, we did win there as well. Okay. So that front's looking pretty solid. And uh, still trying to get these uh, divisions here destroyed. Let's go ahead and have uh, these guys attack over that way. And I know these guys are tank cross rivers, but that's okay. I mean, we are we've like taken such low casualties that I'm just not just not super concerned about it, honestly. All right, so we could attack over that way because it looks like that'll allow us. Yeah, we should probably keep that going. Then. Let's just attack from here then. Again, I know cross a river. There's not really a whole lot to be done about it right now. Uh, we'll attack with these guys here. And we'll attack with these guys here. Fronts are extremely unwieldy and. and I don't even want to try and mess with them. <laughs> I'm just trying to, because once we get these wrapped up, it's irrelevant, you know what I mean? Uh, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. Have, oop, and there we go, these guys have capitulated. Fantastic news, got all our equipment, and that's less divisions I've had to mess with here, and these guys are already cut off as well, uh, anywhere they didn't have troops. Uh, so, just taking a look at how things are going. Uh, so we're gonna get those guys there destroyed. Uh, let's go and have these guys here destroyed. Have this increased and attack. Or we'll just bring him over here. Did win right there. All right, so a lot less divisions over here now. Still got pockets though that we have to uh, finish up. Looks like there's one little pocket here. Uh, yeah, these guys should be uh, destroyed here in mere moments. And I don't even know what's going on with this front here. I don't even want to mess with it. Let's try and get it done, man. I think that's right. Yeah. I'm not even sure like what armies any of these guys are part of at this moment. It's uh, a, lot, a lot of divisions still there though. 
Uh, and looks like we should have this finished up too. So let's go ahead and try and wrap it up. And just trying to select divisions here, but I don't want to go. Uh, and we did finish this up too. All right, excellent. Uh, so looking pretty good. Let's have the yellow army stretch out across here. Uh, it looks like we have this. Uh, yeah, this looks really weird. All right, but we should get this uh, closed up here soon. Uh, these guys could attack over this way instead of whatever they're doing. It doesn't look like that's going to be a win, though. All right, let's bring another division over there to help them out. This should hopefully uh, finish up soon. Now that we have that, that tank army not attacking across the river. Uh, and you know what? Let's have this guy attack this way instead of whatever we were doing. All right, so they're going over that way. They're going that way. Attack over this way, then. I'm just kind of attack to try and wrap these up. This guy here can help out. Get that finished up. Alright, so yeah. Uh, just about got all this territory done. Uh, and that is going to open up more territory for us to build air bases. Uh, so that we can try and get more air power over here. Um, so let's take a look and see if uh, we can get some air bases built close enough to make use of them. Uh, we also want to build uh, the radar here in South Korea. Uh, let's do, you have the air bases all across here. I, I think that this should here be useful. So let's build air bases all across here. And we're also gonna want to take a look at infrastructure. We'll do that as well. Uh, let's do, again, just level 10 all the way across here. Since uh, so many troops here, there's no reason not to. Make sure that didn't affect anything uh, that we really want built at the moment. Ah, everything looks pretty good. They still have all the 15 factories. We have a lot of civilian factories, guys. Quite a few. All right. Uh, so yeah, just <laughs> here we go. Let's attack over here. I just can't stop uh, laughing about how ridiculous this front is. Oh, we had that guy going this way, don't we? These uh, these are just crazy, man. Uh, but again, they do, you know, once they do wrap them up, then they do assign themselves to the locations. Uh, like right here, we'll have a lot more divisions assigned. And frankly, there's been so much movement that all of our guys don't have any, uh, uh, you know, they don't have any organization right now. Uh, so we could do the war bonds, and I don't think we're going to... Um, I want to keep uh, stability kind of high, and you know, we're, we're fine. We have a lot of civilian factories right now. Uh, let's take a look and see what we've... Sunk over here. We got two more convoys sunk. Uh, we'll take a look at our submarines. We sunk a light cruiser there. Uh, we'll take a look at our submarines that have built and get them like assigned or whatever. Uh, sunk uh, more convoys all throughout here and just kind of bomb on their fleets too. Even if we don't destroy them, then it does require them to go back and repair. Uh, and having success over here sinking convoys too. Uh, which is all kind of helping out in the war effort, whether it's troops or supplies. And apparently there's something I missed. Oh, we lost the submarine. Damn it. That's the last one I look at, of course. All right, so let's go and get the submarines assigned. Uh, let's do level three over here. And then these guys will go onto their own. And uh, they're level... So we'll do the shark for level fours. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and have them do combo rating. Okay. So we currently have six, six uh, submarine task force over here. And... Uh, I, mean, I think we've sunk a pretty good amount of ships, so that should be helping us in the war effort. Let me just take a look. I'm curious how we are doing over down here. Uh, we're 28% total war participation. We've sunk uh, 31 total ships. Uh, I've done pretty good on bombing as well. Most of those points, of course, from occupation, as you probably expect in this situation. Oh, I keep doing that, guys. <laughs> oh, man, I'm terrible. All right, so just trying to get that wrapped up, and then we're going to reassign. We're going to redo all our fronts. Once this is done, I'll redo all the fronts. Let's go attack over here and here. And just kind of figure out what the hell's going on here, man. Uh, so let's have these guys go up this way. They're going to stay down here, though. And I uh, just need to get this finished up, man. And I think they should be there in mere moments. So that'll be done. This is also taking longer than I expected for them to get that wrapped up. Uh, let's take a look and see if we got the capital over here. Not quite. I don't think we won our attack there. Uh, and have we connected? We did. All right, so what we want to do is take all the troops that are here. Oops. Have them go onto the big front. And then uh, just go and delete that. 
and then we'll extend it out. And then we might need to create, now we're good. Okay. So they did leave there, unfortunately, so we weren't able to cut them off. So let's push forward in these territory that's not defended at all. They don't have anybody here. Um, we should be able to attack the capital there now. So just go ahead and start getting some wins across here. And what we'll do is we'll attack there just long enough, hopefully, to uh, get this division to cut these guys off. I can't seem to select them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, so go ahead and attack them over that way. Make sure that we win that, or, uh, you know, don't lose it. Got a lot of manpower. Uh, I think we're getting that from occupying all this territory here. And I uh, just need to get this finished up, and then those divisions will be freed up, and we'll be able to move them elsewhere. All right. And yeah, just attrition is terrible throughout this territory. Not incredibly surprising, honestly. Let's get wins where we can. Uh, but again, I'm going to be redoing all the fronts here in mere moments. Once we have that little, oh, we got it done. All right, awesome. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and redo all the fronts, guys. Uh, kind of figure out how we're gonna do this. Uh, so what we're going to do, I mean, we have a lot of a lot of armies throughout this territory. More than likely gonna want to uh, move some of them out, in fact, because uh, it's just gonna be too many for the supply, because uh, it's just not as wide of a front anymore. Let's go and attack across here. Oh, I'm thinking about this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the orange and red army stay here. All this blue army here is going to be covering all of this for us. We're just going to bring them down. And then, yeah, we're going to have these armies also come over here. I'm thickening this up a little bit. We're going to give them some fronts. I don't know if any armies don't have orders yet. I think they all do, but the purple army right here, yeah, they don't have an order. Uh, so let's go ahead and have them uh, do something over here, because I actually have a plan for what we're going to do with that yellow army. All right, so I'm not going to worry about playing, but it's going to get all messed up, so it's okay, guys. don't have any nukes at the moment. Uh, we do have a decision available, anti-fascist raids. Uh, this is just where we have to soak all of our uh, Pluto power into. Just trying to get that uh, stability up higher. Uh, as of right now, we currently have 85%. Oh, why would we do that? Uh, we don't even have fascism. It's just democracy right now. Okay. And that's going to continue to be a problem. All right, so we didn't need to do the anti-fascist raids. Got another destroyer sunk. Another one there. And another one there. Okay, gorgeous. Uh, and no submarines built. That's right, we just took a look at that not that long ago. Uh, and let's take a look at the air situation see if there's anything we can change here uh, so we have a lot of planes that need to move uh, over to here but we need to build up more uh, higher level air bases so let's go ahead and do that now let's build a higher air base there and probably build one right here as well and go ahead and tick these up to the top and again just make sure it didn't uh, pull anything back here yeah we're starting to get where it's affecting us here so I'm just gonna pull this one back down to here Okay, and everybody should get to moving to their locations, though supply is going to be a problem, so maybe not. They might not move over here because of the supply issues. All right, well, we'll want to get the yellow army out of here soon, uh, but we got to get this uh, front here defended. Uh, we get the smoke generators and the basic submarine snorkels. Uh, let's do the uh, passive radar, I suppose, for right now, and then the uh, basic submarine snorkels. Uh, let's get... What do we want to get here? Uh, we'll get the improved submarine snorkels as well then. All right. So yeah, it's going to take a little while before we're going to be able to do much over here because we got to got to make some adjustments all throughout this territory. Why is he not? Oh, he must have already defeated him there. And he's attacking over that way. All right, awesome. So we'll get all these troops here cut off from supply. And yeah, as you can see, just a lot of troops aren't moving right now because of the, uh, the lack of supply. Uh, once we get this wrapped up here, I'm going to move the yellow army off of this uh, front line here. And it is all messed up. <laughs> all right. All right, let's go and take the yellow army and get them out of there now, guys. This is causing us problems. So what I want to do with them is set up an another naval invasion. And we're going to just have them. I don't know if they'll be successful anywhere. Probably not. Uh, but we'll try. We'll try and attack right there. And might not be able to. 
because uh, yeah, we might not have enough room, but we'll at least get them over here. Let's go ahead and have them delete these fronts here. You know what, actually, let's just delete all their orders and then we'll redo this. Since they could have little front lines all over the place. All right, so let's redo this. And okay, they actually were able to go over there. All right, awesome. So they'll get them moving over there, getting the hell out of there, and uh, you know, helping to fix with the supply issues here. Uh, and you know what, we might just go ahead and leave this as is. Yeah, I think we will. Uh, though, wait a minute. Where's their front line? I can't even tell, man, this is so messed up. Is it this one? I don't know. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the Red Army back, just so I don't have the two Red Armies in the same area here. All right, so that looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll just leave that, this as is then. And some armies will just be stretched out across the whole thing, whatever, that's fine. All right, so yeah, kind of in a period where we can't really make a whole lot of movements at the moment because we've got to get all of our troops over to their new front lines here. Uh, but we did cut these guys off here. Uh, so let's start the attack. And might need to use nukes. Perhaps, and if that's the case, we'll use them. Uh, we're gonna take these guys, have them come over this way. See what these ones have them come over there. Well, we got a ton of troops that can attack from here, actually. All right, try to get the win there. And I did lose there again. Damn it! All right, just problems, man. Problems. Uh, they want to invite us in the faction. We'll go and accept it again. You don't have to worry about losing the uh, Russian troops. So, might as well. Uh, let's see what we've done over here. Uh, destroyer and a light cruiser. We're having a lot more success. Uh, another destroyer sunk. Uh, light cruiser and three destroyers. Still not sinking any of the large uh, ships, though, unfortunately. But light cruisers is uh, a big change. Uh, before, we weren't able to get those sunk. Uh, where are the paratroopers? Where did they go? They're going over here for some reason. Uh, they still have an order. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's great. Okay, so let's move them over to here. Uh, we have, uh, and you know what, we'll just go ahead and stop the radar there. Uh, we'll just get the radar here instead. And then uh, do the air base over here. That's just gonna be super helpful. All right, uh, and then we're gonna move all the troops, those paratroopers over to here. I don't know exactly where they'll, uh, the airbase builds, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, let's take a look and see if these guys are ready to go yet. They are not, they're six days away. Uh, but we do not control the um, the seas here yet, so we wouldn't be able to do it. We do have a lot of uh, allied ships uh, helping us out though. So we'll see if that's, that'll be enough. Uh, and it sucks that they, they defeat us here. They're about to break out and I don't know how to stop them. Uh, I'm just trying to find somebody who can do it. Frankly, yeah, we just don't have the numbers here right now. Yeah, there's nobody here to do it right now. All right, so that's unfortunate. So we'll try and uh, get a win here now. Cut them off again. Uh, but yeah, these guys are having issues because of our changes of the front. It did cause some problems. Uh, let's go and attack here. I don't want to get too much entrenchment. So that'll cause us problems if we do. And yeah, just heavy attrition uh, that I'm seeing. All of our divisions are facing right now. Uh, let's go and attack over here, try and lock those guys down. And uh, we'll even nuke them. We got a nuke, might as well use it there. And uh, see what we can do. Uh, it does look like we won there as well. These guys are about to break through here though. All right, so let's go and try and win there though. Damn, we don't have anybody to take advantage of this opportunity here now that we just uh, got from the nuke. Still getting there, should be there soon. All right, uh, so yeah, just spending a lot more time over here than I was planning on it. I wasn't really planning on focusing as much on, on this, uh, but we have, so, you know. <laughs> uh, let's go and go over here. Uh, and yeah, we do have their capital there. They have a new one now. Um, Let's get the, the win here. I'm just gonna attack with all these divisions just so we can try and make sure we succeed there. And we did get their province there. All right, so let's attack right there. Just not paying attention to that over there very often, but again, that's okay. Um, a lot of these here are troop convoys, uh, so they're just losing, you know, probably millions 
uh, in the sea. I did lose another submarine there. All right, so that's a shame. Uh, we haven't got any uh, finished yet. British are having a lot of trouble there. It's unfortunate. I wish they were being a little bit more successful on their their invasions. Uh, did get another destroyer sunk there. Okay. So yeah, not successful here. It sends more divisions, maybe. Uh, we'd have to pull those guys back though, and then resend these two tanks. God damn it. Let's try again, uh, and let's try and get that. Uh, it's a tough one, but we might be able to do it even with just one division. It's a possibility. All right, uh, still waiting to get those troops right there. Uh, we did end up winning there because of the nuke, uh, so it's just going to be these troops that are going to be cut off. Uh, let's go and make sure we attack. Oh, can we win there? We cannot. All right, let's go and pull back. And just go here instead. All right, slowly getting the troops over here. This is going to be another opportunity to cut more uh, Japanese divisions off and get them destroyed. And hopefully they're just going to be so weak. They're just not going to be able to do anything against us. Uh, maybe we'll just roll across China. It wasn't part of the plan, but yeah, we might do it just simply because the Japanese would be so weak, we'll be able to do it. You know, if they like run out of manpower or something or run out of equipment, uh, all those would be options. Uh, so yeah, we do have the invasion planning done, and now we just need to get control of the seas here. Uh, but I don't want to put any of my uh, my other ships over here just yet because I, I know that we won't. I know we won't win. Uh, but we could go and start moving them over here, I suppose. Uh, get this fleet here moving over to our our base, and hopefully they don't get caught. Move them over here. Uh, but yeah, we only have our submarines. I was kind of hoping that the allies would gain control of the skies, but yeah, they have not done that yet. So attack over that way. Even if we don't get to wins, that's okay. Uh, no, oh, we'll stop these. Those are not great. Alright, so still trying to get there so we can get these troops here cut off. So we can get them destroyed. And, uh, there we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do the attack now. Attack with all these guys. I think we actually already won there, but yeah, we're going to bring them across anyway. So they can then attack there. Uh, these guys are coming over here now too, as well as those divisions. Uh, they should all be coming. Let's make sure they're all going over there. So they can't take that province back from us for, what, a fifth time or something like that. I don't know how many times they've done it already. Uh, let's go and attack here. It looks like we might have lost or something. Uh, we do have the capital here. Let's go and push forward. Just waiting for more divisions to get up along this front. They're just taking time to get down here. And then also there's the problem of supply. Uh, I'm sure they're concerned about so they're not moving uh, nine divisions here uh, that are currently cut off uh, let's go ahead and, and we're going to thicken this up rather than attack that way they can go further over there I don't care I want to push this back to make sure they're not able to you know reconnect it uh, we got divisions here that are cut off so we need to get those guys liberated this here is a failure let's go and stop that uh, but we have other divisions that might be able to attack and get a win there and uh, we'll even support this and make sure we reconnect here. All right, so they did actually win there. And yeah, we just don't have any divisions around here right now. All right, um, looks like those guys did win. All right, fantastic. All right, so let's go and take a look at the, the situation in the sky, see if there's anything we can do. We did build the air bases here, so that does mean we're going to be able to move all of these guys out of here. Um, you know, we're still overstaffed here, so I want to get, like, all of these planes out of here. And then they'll just uh, fight from here. And that'll be the full thousand there. Uh, and then we won't get the penalty here anymore, because, yeah, we are just not uh, just not working here, guys. Uh, they're in the Sea of Japan. All right, well, let's have uh, the fighters go over here, then. And where else can we pull from? Uh, we still have a lot of uh, people here. Uh, what we need to do is get planes moving over this way. Same thing here. Uh, this is unnecessary. Let's get these guys moving. Have them help us out here. And where else can we move? We got a lot of planes over here. I think we might have just staffed that full. I don't know. Uh, what we can do, how, this is what we'll do. Uh, anybody who's in the Sea of Japan attack will go here instead. Because uh, yeah, we just need to get I need to get all these guys out of here, man. Uh, this uh, area here is just not working. All right, looking for other open air bases. I'm not seeing it just yet. All right, uh, so that's good for right now. Just kind of slowly adjust them, move them around. 
Uh, looks like we're about to get destroyed here. Let's go and stop that. Uh, they're about to be liberated, hopefully soon. Um, I don't know if they'll hold out long enough. Looks like we did lose that attack there. Uh, did we finish this up yet? Uh, no, they're in fact, actually, we're losing here. All right, so we're gonna have to, damn it. All right, so we're gonna have to attack here now. And we just don't have any troops over here, man, to, to wrap this up. So we're gonna have to attack over there. We're just waiting, man. Waiting for movements. Okay. Uh, trying to get them capitulated. Uh, we got all these troops here that are now cut off in supply. Let's go and start attacking. Try and get them defeated. Uh, these guys are going to come up over here. And what we'll do is we'll have uh, one of these guys attack over that way. While all the other ones attack down here. Now I know that a lot of these aren't going to be wins. I'm just trying to stop them from cutting or to reconnecting here. Something that we worked so hard at doing. Uh, so yeah, I don't want them to do that. Let's go and attack over this way. Uh, and they are attacking all across this front. Looks like we're having some difficulty with the defenses too. Uh, I haven't taken a look at the supply situation here, and that is why we are having some supply issues. All right. Well, let's have them go through here then. Again, I'm just going level 10 just because there's so much supply throughout here, guys. Uh, so many troops uh, here, I mean, uh, so we need so much supply. Uh, but as you guys can see, I mean, we just can't get it. We can't get it done. Um, these forts from us done, but they're unnecessary, so let's just cancel them. And just kind of take this down. And yeah, you can see we're trying to build. We're trying to build too much right now. Is there any, like, uh, trade we can pull back on? Yes. All right, well, that'll get us back three of our factories. Help us build a little bit faster. Uh, another Japanese destroyer sunk there and there, uh, but yeah, just losing tons of planes. All right, well, luckily we got, we have a lot of planes. Let's just take a look, see if we're short on anything, because I don't look at this very often. Uh, Anti-tanks is still really short. Um, the strategic bombers is fine, because they're building the jet ones. All right, yeah, but that's what I'm seeing. The anti-tanks is uh, not great. We might need to put some more into anti-tanks, which kind of sucks, because I was just pulling back on those on the uh the trade for tungsten let me just take a look can we yeah we'll have to put 15 in there can we pull from anywhere what about here although that's not gonna help with tungsten of course uh and we can pull back on the modern tanks too we're pretty stacked on on all this here uh, and we're not building anymore because of the lack of manpower uh but what we could do is change over some of the on the uh medium tanks to the modern tanks and i think that's might be what we do and uh, see if we have what we have that we can pull. Well, these guys are uh, the supply situation is just garbage throughout here. Still haven't liberated those guys yet. But it looks like we're almost there, uh, and we did win here. Thank, you. Thank God, man! Finally got that wrapped up. That took a while. Uh, might need to move an army out of here because just supply is so garbage. And if we got the the infrastructure built here, then it would be a problem anymore. But yeah, we just haven't been able to get it done uh, fast enough. We have so much stuff that we're trying to build all at once. Uh, so that's kind of what the problem is. Uh, but yeah, we're sinking the Japanese Navy. That's what's important. And eventually the Allies will be able to seize control here so that we can do naval invasions. Uh, because I was hoping to do paratrooper drops, but that you know, might not ever happen, guys. <laughs> I don't know that we'll ever, ever be able to do it. Uh, let's go and get these guys going over here now. And we'll see if we have any more open air bases uh, to kind of move some, some planes to. Uh, not quite. Uh, well, we have a little bit of room there. Uh, I suppose we moved all the planes here so we can start moving uh, some planes from over here. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's move. I don't want to move the strategic bombers. We'll just move the, uh, the... No, I'm not trying to do fighters, man. I'm trying to do some close air support. Here we go. All right, awesome. Get those guys uh, helping us out here. And though we have seized control of the skies. All right, and uh, they are doing an attack all the way across here. Yeah, that's interesting. And yeah, they, we just have not had any success, man. All right, shit. I just can't get anything done. Uh, supply is garbage, and our attrition, or excuse me, our organization is garbage also from moving so much. Uh, all these troops having to move to the front consistently. And uh, let's go ahead and have these guys stretch out across here. Oops, uh, what the hell? I cannot even tell what the hell is happening here. Uh, red front. I'm looking for the red front, guys. <laughs> the extra red front. There we go. Good God. So we're just going to pull these guys back. 
and then allow, that allow them to, to instead come down here. Just trying to keep the two red fronts uh, separated just so I can clearly see what the hell's going on. All right, they did wipe out that division. Damn it. All right, so that's a shame. We did end up losing one division. I think that's like the first division we've lost on this entire attack, so I guess that's not too bad, uh, considering. Yeah, we haven't lost any divisions, I believe. Done a great job. Let's go and just attack here, try and get this done. Let's try and uh, decrease the size of the front. We did lose there, that's a real shame. All right, so they're pushing us back across here. All right, yeah, that's a real bummer. Yeah, I think we just have too many divisions, and uh, they have capitulated. Excellent. Uh, so that's less divisions that went to fight across there. Uh, we got two more destroyers sunk. Uh, destroyer and a light cruiser. Wow, we're doing a great job, man. Another destroyer. Uh, we'll take a look here in a minute after all these sinkings that we've recently done, and see uh, see how it looks. How many uh, ships they got left? All right, so still a lot, uh, upper 300s. Uh, remember, they had 500 something ships when we started this conflict with them, so we lost another submarine. Damn it. Damn. Keep losing these submarines. We have two more, though. Uh, let's go ahead and get them placed over here and get them assigned to convoy raiding. All right, but yeah, we are having so much success sinking troops all throughout here. I'll be curious to see how uh, the casualties look in this, in this war. All right, so remember, we could do the invasion as soon as we get control of the, the seas here, but again, uh, it's going to be kind of difficult to do, considering uh, they're not doing any naval invasions, and they're just not in the situation to do naval invasions. Uh, but we do have the troops here now, uh, so it's just a matter of time. Uh, can we build infrastructure up? No. And as we get the infrastructure built up, I'll be able to continue to push forward here. Uh, still, I mean, could still kind of burst across here and try and get the rest of these troops cut off, but basically the objective has been completed here. Essentially, what I wanted to do is now done. Uh, so let's go and continue with these because this helps out our submarines. Uh, we got light cruisers sunk. Destroyers, uh, two of them, three of them. All right, we'll just keep going through here. Uh, we do want to keep an eye on, you know, how our success is, uh, how much success we're having in the seas. Uh, and also continue just taking a look at the the air situation. It looks like this is no longer overstaffed. Excellent, uh, about time. Uh, and then also that has opened up uh, room here. So let's go and have the, the planes that are here go into that air base. A little bit more room open there as well. Uh, so let's go and take uh, one of these guys. Oh, well, let's do close air support. Move him over to here. All right, and then maybe one more fighter too. And oh, we got some room right here. I have a move there. Just trying to get rid of uh, all the planes up here. And damn it, I don't remember where we moved them. Let's get him over here. And do we have room there? We do not. We're exactly at 1,200. Yeah, just need more air bases, guys. And some the supply is so garbage that yeah, the divisions can't even uh, won't even move forward at this point. I feel like we might have to move one of these armies out of here, just too many armies at this point, and maybe move them up to, I mean, we could just move them up to here for right now, just anywhere where we got supply. Yeah, like, just move them up to this area. Because, yeah, the supply here is just too bad uh, right now. So, which one do we want to move? I don't know what these guys are made up of. Uh, let's just take a look and see which one would be the best one. These guys are over here. Okay, so we don't want to move them, obviously. Uh, so we got this army here. Mm, it's okay. Uh, they got this army, so a little bit better, and then this army here. All right, so those are the ones there. And of course, we have our red army here. All right, so what we're gonna do? Uh, I'm looking at at generals as well. Uh, let's move. I think we're gonna move this one out. Yeah, let's go ahead and get these guys out of there. Let's go ahead and cancel any orders they have, and then just have them move up somewhere somewhere else, <laughs> so that they are not soaking up all of our supply. Uh, just have them move over to here for right now. Uh, let me just let me just double check on the supply zones. All right, so right here, anywhere really, would be fine. I'll just have them move over to here. Just get out of there, and that should help out a bit. Uh, we'll see. And we might want to pull another one back. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll see how supply looks once that army gets out of there. Uh, should definitely help a lot getting 24 divisions out. All right, uh, another destroyer sunk there. We'll have to move our transport planes over here. We got a little bit more room there as well, so let's go and make sure that we uh, get those guys moving now. 
Uh, get some planes over here. Uh, let's do... Okay, so these guys are already in the Sea of Japan, and it looks like they're not really able to cover it very well. Uh, so, let me see here how we want to do this. I think they could move over to here. They should do a little bit better there. These guys are all in the Russian Far East. Let's have them come over to here then. And we are yellow in Japan. Really trying to get control there, guys. Um, and we overstaffed there a little bit. That's okay. Uh, let's go and take a... Oh. oh, okay, these are the strategic bombers. Okay, I was about to say, what the hell are these guys doing? Um, let's see, we have the jet fighters here that can move. I'll place them over here. All right, lovely. Let's continue uh, moving our planes around so that they get the better efficiency. Uh, it does look like supply is a little bit better in some of these areas now already. Uh, so that's excellent. Still down here, some some problems, but it's not too bad. Uh, let's go after that province right there. Let's attack over here. Nope, that's not going to work. I'm just going to stop that then. All right, so we'll see how that looks. Um, you know, now that we've pulled those back. And, uh, anyway, I mean, we're doing pretty good sinking all these ships, considering the fact that we don't have, we don't even have naval bombers. These are just close air support doing this. Uh, so not bad. Not too shabby at all. Uh, let's take a look again, because uh, we are continuing building up air bases. And, uh, so just want to make sure that we, we capitalize them. Capitalize on the air base as soon as they're done. All right, nothing was built yet. Uh, we got green everywhere but the, uh, home islands. Uh, but, you'll notice, we're getting a lot better, guys. Things are, are going much better there. Uh, probably having a little bit more success bombing. I guess let's take a look at the situation here. We haven't seen this in a while uh, So let's see how things look obviously bombers are disrupted. They've disrupted a lot of our bombers uh, We've shot down 1200 something fighters where they've only shot down a thousand but again They've shot down a lot of bombers and those are expensive. Uh, so Yeah, it's we've we've been w losing the uh, war in the home islands uh, Not surprising in Japan is it's often difficult to, to win there all right, so we'll try and attack here, but yeah, not having a lot of success. I think it's just uh, supply being too bad right now. We did win there. Uh, let's try and attack here then. No, that won't work. I got too many divisions there because I'm moving down to here. Okay. Uh, we do have some kind of uh, decision available. Take a look. It's war propaganda against Siam. All right. Uh, so I think we're just about done with the episode. Let's take a look at the situation here. I haven't peeked over here for a while. Uh, it does look like there's like, openings that can be uh, taken advantage of. Um, and we still haven't wrapped these guys up yet. They'll free up a lot of divisions here. And just looking for areas we can push forward on. Should be able to win right there. And here as well. And maybe right there too. Yeah. I'm going to try and get them capitulated. And it uh, looks like the British are having more success in India now. Uh, so that's good to see. And, uh, ooh, wow. And uh, Americans lost a battleship, and then a total of 10 or 12 destroyers lost here for the Allies. For only two Japanese destroyers and some planes. So that was kind of a rough battle for the Allies. All right, let's take a look at here. All right. Okay, uh, we, we sunk a few more destroyers. We got a couple more over here to look at. The convoy sunk. All right, so it looks good, and uh, this is the current situation in the air, and here's the situation in the seas. Uh, our side just can't really seize control right now. Uh, again, we only have our submarines here, so uh, you know there's only so much we can do uh, with with submarines. Um, you know, we haven't really uh, built any other any other uh, you know ships. Uh, we do have army experience, uh, so we could go ahead and put these in the modern tanks. Modern tanks might be done though. Yeah, it looks like they're seas. I'm pretty sure that means that they are done. Uh, more than likely. Yeah, they're done. All right, well, what we could do instead is do the, uh, I mean, I guess we do, like, the modern self-propelled artillery. Let's see where those are at. I'll just kind of tick them up, make them a bit better. I should be able to do, is it threes that you can do? Yeah, you can do threes. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that, and then, uh, if I can just figure out where the hell the modern self-propelled self artillery is. Uh, here we go. All right, so we'll get, oh, damn it. <laughs> Shit. I fucked that up, guys. I didn't realize I still had these. Man, we just slammed our efficiency there. Alright, that's a real shame. Yeah. Alright, well, luckily we're stacked on, on modern tanks. 
Okay, um, and we have the strategic bombers, the jet strategic bombers building, and we'll be replacing our strategic bombers with those. Uh, we do need more tungsten again, so we'll get that going. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, so far things are looking pretty good. Uh, the Japanese are on retreat. Uh, we're going to want to take a look at the casualties here. I'm sure, I'm sure we dealt a ton. Uh, we now have 32%. Uh, yeah, we're back in the Allies as well, so it's easier to see us here. We now have 32% of the war participation. Uh, despite you know the fact that we really didn't help the Japanese until just now, uh, the Americans have 21%. Looking for the British here. They should have a high number too, uh, 25%. Uh, so right now we have the most uh, total war participation, and we've only taken 98,000 casualties. That is it, guys. 75,000 by the Japanese. That is not bad, considering. Uh, and if we look at the casualties on their side, how much we dealt. I guess I didn't look at the Americans and the British. 2.28 million for the British. Russia is 113,000 now. Canada, 288,000. France 507,000 uh, 1.01 million still for the, the Mexicans 3.23 for the Americans uh, and Japan has now taken 7.45 million casualties we did 2.7 million of that so we killed ooh, maybe like 1.4 million Japanese in this episode just as episodes are not too shabby at all uh, UK 1.8 million United States 1.2 million uh, so looking at Siam we did 100,000 casualties to Siam uh, China, we did uh, 153,000 casualties, 106,000 here, and 47,000. Not bad, guys, for not even 100,000 casualties ourselves. Uh, still higher losses on our side than their side, but they're catching up. Uh, and you can see the field of manpower is there's vastly different now. They are they are struggling. They used to have uh, this used to say like 500 to to 1,000 divisions. Now it's 465 to 832. So they probably lost a couple hundred divisions in the last couple episodes. Uh, so we're doing pretty good. Let's just take a look at their manpower situation. Still a lot of manpower, guys. Uh, still a lot of ships as well, but we're slowly getting that ticked down. And still a lot of planes. Uh, as far as us, if you just want to see us, we have you know more planes than they do, but the problem is we don't have the air bases to put them here. Uh, as far as our uh, ships, we only have 23 ships. Uh, we have 275 divisions now that we don't have the Russian divisions under our control. Uh, and we just don't have the manpower to build more, and we don't need them. Uh, the problem right now is supply, uh, so building more divisions would be pointless. All right, so uh, that's the end of this episode. Uh, I think, if I had to guess, I think it's going to be, man, I don't know, man, maybe two more episodes, I think. I'm I, Again, I'm not planning on invading into China. Uh, my plan is to get it to, like, here, and then just kind of set up a defensive front. I, I don't really want to fight in China, guys. Um, I, I don't see any... Uh, advantage of fighting in China uh, so we'll probably try and get it to like right here and like right here and just defensive borders uh, and just kind of set up defense and then just focus entirely on, on naval invasions and and dropping paratroopers by that point we should have control of the skies in the home islands now, I don't know if we'll control the seas uh, in order to do naval invasions. We'll have to see, guys. Uh, we really are kind of relying on the Allies to do it, and they haven't been very successful. They haven't really done much there, guys. Uh, but we do have our fleet heading over there. Let me take a look and see where they're currently at. Uh, they are here now, looks like. Uh, yeah, they are here. Uh, so they can both help out with... Uh, well, we don't have all our troops here yet. Uh, but they can both help out with the naval invasions. Uh, or we can have them patrol. Uh, that's an option as well. I might just go ahead and have these guys come as well. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and have them stop their convoy escorting. And uh, let's just go ahead and remove any orders they currently have, any regions. And then have them move over here as well. Although, I'm not entirely sure we moved there. I meant to move them over to here. Yeah, let's move them over to there. I thought we had moved this fleet over there too, but apparently not. Oh, they're repairing. Alright, they took damage. All right, no, no, no. I see what happened there. They stopped to repair. Well, you know what? They can repair a lot faster over here. Yeah, let's get them going over there. Yeah, they have some serious problems. They're taking some casualties. Maybe this is only a heavy cruiser. Uh, maybe I should leave them there to repair. I don't know. Yeah, they're pretty damaged. Let's just let them repair here. I think that'd probably be wise. Uh, just let them repair here now. Repair now. All right, so they'll repair up. And they'll bring the uh, these destroyers over here as well. And that's all we got. We need to build some more ships, man. Uh, not just build only submarines. Uh, so maybe we'll start doing that next episode. We're still trying to get techs, guys. We don't really have a lot of uh, naval techs right now, so we really need to get those. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like. 
on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching, guys.